Community Medical Centers is preparing itself for Ebola and any infectious diseases in much the same way it's done for many years with its proper infection control and use of isolation. Uh, we are following all of the CDC guidelines for how to prepare and manage patients with suspected Ebola. Again, patients with suspected Ebola are those who have symptoms of fever, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, headache, or abnormal bleeding that have returned or been in one of the West African countries, um, Guinea, Sierra Leone, or Liberia in the past 21 days. When we identify a patient like that upon entering one of our hospitals or clinics, we immediately isolate that patient, uh, put them in an isolation room that protects the rest, uh, everyone that surrounds them from, from uh, contacting them. And then we also have a process for gowning and protecting caregivers who will be entering the room and caring for them. I know that a lot of you are very worried and, and possibly panicked about the risks of Ebola and the risk of actually encountering a case in one of our hospitals in Fresno. Uh, first of all, although it's very, very unlikely, uh, Community Medical Centers is prepared to handle cases of suspected Ebola and cases of active Ebola. Um, they are, we are daily going through training exercises with staff for how to put on the equipment, the protective gear, before entering the room, upon leaving the room. Infection control is very active in developing these protocols according to CDC's guidelines, and we are updating these uh, daily as new information is provided. Uh, the, the stock and uh, supply of these equipment is being increased um, and being observed and managed. Um, and the key is that we are educating and maintaining a process to prevent further spread of any disease. Key areas through the, throughout the hospital have been identified as um, areas where a patient with suspected Ebola might present, one of those being the ED. Uh, the patient may present to the emergency department with symptoms having recently traveled. Those areas receiving special instruction and additional training to handle those cases so we can catch them as soon as possible. I know that many of you may be concerned that, concerned for the risk to yourself of providing care to a patient suspected Ebola or Ebola, uh, especially in the light of the recent cases of healthcare workers in the United States who have contracted it. The key thing to remember is that our infection control department and group is really working hard on developing processes that match CDC guidelines, steps involved to make sure that we put the gowns on correctly enter the patient room correctly and remove the gown and material correctly afterwards with assistance. Uh, that's been demonstrated and is being demonstrated to a lot of our staff. So I believe that as long as you follow those precautions to the letter, you are protected from contracting Ebola, you are protected from encountering bodily fluids from that patient. One key thing to remember is that as we have patients who are identified as risk having risk factors for Ebola, there will be special people uh, involved in their care. Also, we're restricting the number of people entering the rooms, the number of blood draws, the number of uh, points of contact we have that patient to the absolute minimum so that only certain individuals are entering and leaving the room so that we minimize the chance of spread and contamination. Infection Control has been working on developing tools within the uh, EMR system, EPIC, to help us identify patients when they arrive, provide specific questions for nurses and registration staff to ask, and upon identifying those risk factors to immediately isolate the patient and provide best practice alerts or warnings that pop up in the system for all users as they're touching or encountering that patient. So I think that's another key thing as well that we'll be able to use our EMR to help us with this, uh, the possibility of any type of outbreaks or uh, cases that we encounter. From Emergency Medicine at Community Regional Medical Center, this is Dr. Hagopafarian, Chief Medical Informatics Officer.